Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So over the past couple of weeks, there has been a ton of talk about how to downgrade your firmware on your PlayStation 4 to hopefully one that is jailbreakable, being such as 9.00 or lower. Well, what if you already have a PlayStation 4 that is jailbroken and maybe you want to know what is the lowest firmware that you can go to just in case maybe you've got a golden 5.05 system sitting around that you could activate by reverting back using the syscon tools so in today's video that is exactly what i want to do so one of the tools that we are going to use today is going to be this one right here called ps4 Wii tools now there's a ton of different options out there but this one is going to be absolutely for free and you can do it within really just a matter of seconds okay so once you're over on the github site right here we're going to go over to releases and we actually are not going to take this very latest release which is 0.7 for this one we're going to take version 0.5 so come right over here to the assets here and then just download this zip right here once you have that downloaded make sure you go ahead and extract it because we're going to use it just a little bit later now, back over on your PlayStation 4, you definitely want to go ahead and get logged in and make sure you are already jailbroken. As you can see right here, I am completely jailbroken at this point. And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to enable your FTP. Now, my FTP is turned on, but if you need that, just simply go into your gold hen and then go down right here to where it says server settings and make sure that there is a check mark in enable FTP server. Now, if I take this back out, which I'm going to do right here, you can see it's shutting down now. And if I turn it back on, then it will give me the IP address that we're going to use in just a second. So make a note of this number. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that back on here. And there you go. You can see it's at 10.0.0.27. We're going to need that in just a second. Next up, you are going to want to grab FileZilla if you don't already have it. It's just going to be at the FileZilla-project.org, and then you can download the client for whichever operating system that you're currently using. So go ahead and download it and get that installed. Okay, so with FileZilla open now, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and put in the IP address that was provided in that notification, and you do not need a username or a password, and you're going to want to use the port 2121. Once you connect to that, you will see a listing of all of the different files. And so go ahead and navigate into the dev folder here. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to grab the S flash zero. So it's going to be this one right here. So just take this one and just drag that over into any sort of folder that you already have on your hard drive. And so do keep in mind that it does take a little bit of time to transfer over. It's fairly slow, at least on the couple of PS4s that I've tried this on. As you can see, it's, you know, downloading around 284 kilobytes a second. But the final file size is just going to be 32 megabytes. So it really shouldn't take too long. Okay, so now we've went ahead and we are now now in the folder where we downloaded and extracted the PS4 Wii Tools version 0.5. And from here, as you can see, I've went ahead and I've copied over my S flash zero file that I downloaded from FTP. And I went ahead and did that on another system of mine, which was a PS4 FAT. So I've just went ahead and renamed mine so I know which file is which. It's perfectly okay if you just want to leave that as S flash zero. Zero. Once you do that, just come right up here and then just type in CMD and press return. And that will bring you to a command prompt. We're just going to go ahead and type in PS and press the tab button here. And you can see it will auto complete PS4 we tools. And then we'll hit the space bar here. And from here, it's going to be S flash zero. 
and you would be able to press return. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my PS4 Pro here and we'll press return. And then you get all of this great information. So things such as the SKU, so you can actually go and search for this and you can kind of look it up. This right here will obviously tell you this is a pro model. If you did this search in Google, for example, what region the console was for, the serial number, the motherboard serial number, the MAC address, and then what hard drive that I have in there. And then we have the version number. So this one is obviously running 9.00. And then right here, this is the absolute minimum firmware that this PlayStation 4 can run. And this is setting at 05.55. Now, it also says right here, not sure, but after looking at a couple of these, this is pretty accurate. But do keep in mind that this is the minimum firmware that this PlayStation 4 could go back to. Now, note that this is not the previous version that you can go back to. For that, I'll have a separate video coming out over the next couple of days. And really the rest of this right here is really all about the downgrade process of doing the core OS slot switching. Now, I'm not going to obviously go into that today. So if you wanted to kind of get a little bit of taste of what that's like, if you do go to number four, for example, this is the different downgrade patterns. So here is where you would pick whatever type of model that you've got. You would just select a number with it for that choice. Okay, so I hope this helped and you got something out of this today. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!